All four of us are taking uh, ME-135 with uh, George Anwar and basically the, uh, the gist of the class is to basically interface uh, software with, uh, it's basically LabVIEW which is a, a, a programming language uh, to write software that interfaces with real mechanical systems in a real-time situation. One of the problems that was posed was uh, there is the Eel, the Eel River, South Fork of the Eel River at the Angelo Reserve and uh, Mary Powers is trying to get images of the top of this river for uh, algae color. Really, her, she, by studying algae, they, you know, it's kind of like a, a, a very fundamental uh, nutrient source to a lot of the, the surrounding area. So by knowing what phase, um, you know, what color it was, where it was in its life cycle, she could have all of these uh, bigger understandings of what's going on. We're basically taking two toys. One is a helium-filled balloon, and the other is a remote-controlled airplane that is capable of taking pictures. And what we're doing is kind of merging both of those tools and controlling them simultaneously with the software. This is an air hog, which I just put in a product placement plug right there. It's a, so it's a radio controlled plane. And right here, we have the propellers on both sides. And on the bottom, this is the camera. And then we have a USB charging port right here. And for this project, we're using this plane. We took off the wing it had. So right now, it probably not fly very well. And we're using this in order to propel the balloon forward and to turn it. And we're gonna do that by controlling these, uh, these here. And then that's pretty much its purpose. We're going to tape it to the plane, uh, to the balloon, the blimp, and uh, we actually had it flying this weekend, so it, it looks like it's going to work. Now this plane by itself, it, it's not strong enough to turn the whole balloon uh, and itself that much. It can do it a little bit, so this is like a physics uh, playing out here, because even though the balloon is light, it's really big compared to the to the plane and the motors, so it has a um, a large moment of inertia, um, too high that is not good enough, or the the motors here aren't good enough to really turn it. So we're going to use the tail to uh, to t turn this way or that way to help the motors turn the balloon, and we get some pretty sharp turns out of that. So uh, that and then the other control mechanism we're going to use that the balloon came with is it has a weight at the bottom that's on a gear uh, track or a, a tooth track and we can control how uh, its movement forward and backwards and that's going to also help us to get it on uh, that's going to help us ground the blimp when it's flying if we put the if we put the plane because the plane is going to be connected to that weight so when we slide it all the way forward and I think he's playing with it right now I heard it, it's really loud. And the, so when that slides forward, it's gonna bring the whole thing down. So we'll make sure that's, this, we have those T's to make sure it looks okay. This is like a figure of a shark. So when when the control like when all the things are put together, uh, it just shows exactly what's going on in the shark. Like so, for example, this is the tail. Uh, this says uh, the green light indicates like where the tail is, like which direction it's headed in, and uh, this this direction one indicates the plane's direction. And this motor power right here is just 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 to indicate the thrust, uh, the, the amount of power that we're gonna put into the motors that make it move forward. We're just trying to make like a direct, direct uh, relation so that people, when people first see this they can say oh this is exactly what's going on in the shark.